man, I like this right here. I like this. Ah, what's happening, folks? Uh, it's your man, Chris, a.k.a. Boom.Slim. Boom.Slim on everything, IG, Twitter, all the social media platforms, uh, BeatStar, SoundCloud. Check me out on all of it. Welcome to the Visionaries Corner. Uh, today, I have an unboxing for y'all to check out. Um, I got a little something in the mail, and uh, I ain't even opened it up yet. Ugh. Boom. Got this uh, Crossley C200 um, direct drive vinyl turntable. Y'all know um, about my love for music. I've expressed that time and time again. Um, as you can see, you know, I have uh, beat machines, keyboards, you know, my mixer. Um, I even did the video on the uh, the Pioneer SB uh, or DDJ SB2, I think. SB3, not the two. I confused my own shit. Uh... The DDJ SB3 a few months back. And um, I've been playing with it, um, not as much as I want, but um, I still, you know, still a little, getting a little used to, you know, using the mixer and getting the scratches, the chirps and all that different stuff down. But um, but I got a, a lot of vinyl. So I wanted to get um, a record player that I could, you know, run to my machine, uh, Mach 2, um, do some sampling, uh, make some beats that way. And, you know, kind of just kick back and, you know, listen to some old records. I have an old record player, but it's not one that has any outputs on it. So um, I wanted to get something that I could, you know, um, you know, have the outputs to run to the PC or to my machine, do some sampling, you know, kick back and listen. And eventually I'm going to end up getting a mixer, um, you know, possibly another turntable to, uh, to pair with it. And then, you know, do the scratching and mixing with the vinyl also. So without further ado... Let's get into this unboxing. All right, so here it is. Um, like I said, it's the Crossley um, C200 um, two-speed turntable. This is a direct drive turntable. There are two different kinds of turntables. Normally out there, um, you either have um, belt drive or direct drive. So the belt drive, it's going to have like, a, uh, like on the inside of the turntable, there's like a cylinder over here. And there's a belt that loops around and actually operates the turntable. Or you have direct drive, which is the cylinder is directly under the platter. And that's what turns the actual turntable. So um, it's a preference thing. Um, a lot of DJs, um, a lot of the competition DJs um, will go with direct drive. Um, you know, some of the you know older school back in the 80s early 90s a lot of them still like direct drive um it, it's it's really a preference thing um it's really about what feels good to you um i went with you know direct drive um because from my understanding it does last a little bit longer um less likely to have any issues with the belt breaking uh, anything like that so to keep repair costs down, I definitely wanted to go with something like that. So went with the direct drive. So let's go ahead and crack this joint open, man.
Um, so for those who don't know, this is an adapter. So if you got the old uh, 45s, um, you can just kind of slide that on and play smaller records because the smaller records had the bigger hole in the middle. So you can't play those here, of course. Um, but that is what that's for. Um, this is the cartridge head. This is actually an Audio Technica um, head with the Audio Technica symbol on it. So that's not too bad, not too bad. AT is a really, uh, really good company. A lot of people stand by Audio Technica. Um, headphones, DJ gear, all of that stuff. gonna put the dust cover on it just yet um, I'll do that in a little bit see so y'all can see the final product but this is the Crossley C200 direct drive two-speed turntable pretty dope man I like it um, it's real solid um, has the variable pitch two speeds 33 um, and 45 um, like I said, it's got the counterweight. Uh, I mean, it's really nice. Um, it's got the curve, uh, the S-shaped tone arm. Um, it's not a competition head, but I mean, if you want to get a new head for these, it's going to ring you about 50, 60 bucks, upwards of 100, 150, depending on the, the brand and you know the durability of it. But, uh, but the one that came with it, like I said, it's an Audio Technica, so um, this should actually last for a while, you know what I mean? But um, overall, my first impression of this joint, man, I like this right here. I like this. All right, so there it is, man. Um, got it unboxed, um, got, it, got it all hooked up. Um, so I really like it. I like how it looks, I like how it feels. Um, it's real sturdy. Um, I didn't expect it to be, um, as sturdy as it was, um, but it, it's real, um, it's real heavy, you know what I'm saying? Um, normally, uh, like the Audio Technica, um, higher end, they're probably gonna run you like three, four hundred bucks. Um, this one was under 200. Um, I think I gave like 180 for it. Uh, so, uh, like I said, it's real sturdy. I like the build of it. I like the feel of it. Um, I probably will change out the head and get a, um, get a different head later on. Uh, but the Audio Technica head that came with it, that was a surprise. So like I said, that's a good quality. Um, I like Audio Technica products. Um, so they uh, that head should last um, a good bit. But, uh, but like I said, overall, um, I'm digging it. I'm, I'm really digging it. Um, so uh, let me know um, how you guys feel about the unboxing, how you feel about the turntables. If you have any um, any DJs out there that have any kind of tips and tricks to go over. Uh, like I said, I don't have um, a mixer for it yet. I do have um, the DDJ uh, SB3 um, from Pioneer. So I mean, it has a, a, a mixer built into it, of course. Um, but it doesn't have four channels, so I'm not really able to um, add the decks to it right now, so one that I know of, um, I might, there may be a way to actually uh, to run another deck to it, but that's a whole nother video. Um, definitely uh, like the video, comment, share it, subscribe, hit the uh, bell so you guys can get notifications every time I drop a new video. Um, Check me out on uh, social media. Uh, like I said, Boom Got Slim on everything. Um, and the business page, Iron Mountain Production. Um, we got a lot of big things coming. Uh, quarantine ain't gonna hold us down, you know what I'm saying? So uh, check me out. Peace. I knew he would like that shit.